So genomic testing is actually looking at the tumor and determining its DNA. So a tumor has its own DNA, this DNA that is fraught with mutations because cancer doesn't exist without mutations. Um, genomic testing identifies what particular mutations this person carries, and in that case, are there, are there any medicines out there that can combat this cancer based on mutations that either it has acquired or something that you've inherited uh, from a parent? Um, there's not any institutions that do genomic testing, but there's a number of different companies that do. And nearly every good oncologist can send your tumor sample away or blood sample um, to get that testing done. It, it could be very expensive, um, but it is absolutely worth every single penny. Yeah, and some cases around five, six thousand dollars to get it done. Um, those tests include uh, Foundation One, which is the standard of excellence, um, Keras testing, that's Keras with a C, and uh, the Garden test, which is the, the blood test. So it's something that you should absolutely do if you get diagnosed with cancer. Um, in my case, it actually wasn't very helpful. It uh, didn't reveal any mutations that were actionable. I have a couple that was called unequivocal, which means that maybe, maybe not. Um, but it was really very telling in that the, the testing said no mutations, I'm responding 100% to standard therapy. That's not by coincidence. That's because I don't have any mutations that are, that are causing my cancer to be tricky. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't evade standard treatment or you know, become resistant to hormone therapy, for example. Unlike my best friend, Lisa, who has a lot of mutations, PIK3CA, mTOR mutations, BRCA2, um, those mutations have allowed her cancer to outsmart treatment. So this told our oncologist from the get-go that she needs to be on a special treatment. That's exactly what she's offering. 